In this video, we're going to talk about uh, very beginning embouchure creation and airspeed and some very initial sounds on the flute. We are not going to need the entire flute for this exercise, um, only the head joint. So when we're just about to make those first sounds, um, I find a couple little exercises helpful. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to smile really, really big. And I want you to bring those corners back as much as you can. So I even get this little dimple that comes out when I smile like that. So then I want you to just relax it again and smile again. The reason I'm having you do that is because I think it's very easy for us to feel these muscles when we smile. So you actually have muscles in your face. These two sides right here, I want you to think about those being firm every time you're going to be playing the flute. This is very controlled and it's kind of anchored against the teeth. This part, the middle of your lips, is going to be very relaxed no matter what. So let's try to say that and I want you to exhale air. We're going to push air out of our body through a very small opening and I want you to think pool. Say the word pool for me but anchor the corners. Pool. And that basically sets up our embouchure to be successful. So I want you to try just making a long tone with the word pool. So let's try that without the actual vocalization. Big breath. Should be pretty easy, right? The next thing that you're going to do is I want you to take your arm in front of your body and then we are going to do the same thing but we are going to uh, direct the air towards our wrist to start with. Do the same thing, but direct your air towards your elbow. Can you do that? Try again. Here's the wrist. And now the elbow. It's going to be very important that you can direct your air in different directions in order to play high and low. So. If that's challenging right now, don't worry. It will grow, it will get easier, but that's going to be something you should be able to do. And I think it's a very good visual to have my arm there to use as a reference. The next thing I'm gonna have you do is we're going to actually pick up the head joint and we're gonna make our first sounds. So always being careful with your, with your case and your flute. Make sure that it's on a hard, stable surface. I never recommend putting your flute together when it's on your lap because gravity is not always our friend. So um, on a table or on the floor is usually your best idea. So I'm going to grab just my head joint because this is the only piece that we're going to need. When we play the flute, um, the head joint is the longer part away. This, this part is a little bit longer. This is the tenon that connects to your instrument. This side is always going to go to your right. So when you look at it this way, it looks a little bit different. I'm a mirror image for you too. So it's going to look backwards. Yours should be opposite of what mine is. So again, it goes off to the right and then this little screw part, don't mess with that because it messes with some stuff on the inside of the instrument. Um, the screw always goes to your left. And if you struggle with those, remember that your left hand makes an L, okay? So I'm gonna put this up against my face and the edge of the red on my lip is right about where the embouchure is going to rest on the opening of that hole. So I'm gonna line it up flat against my face and I want you to say that pool with a nice solid breath. Big breath first. Can you try that with me? Now let's try it again, except for this time, we're gonna cover the end of the head joint. This can be called stopping or covering. What this does is sometimes it makes it a little bit easier for us to make sound. So we'll try that. Big breath. Try one more time. Did you get the same sound that I did? Maybe yours was different. Perhaps you sounded like this. If you did, that's okay. That's just gonna be your higher register. You should be able to play both of them. Remember when we used our arm, those higher notes are gonna use the higher part. The lower notes are gonna use the lower part. So those different variations are both important and no matter what you got, it's great. 
the last thing I want you to try to do is we're going to see if we can make some different sounds based on putting our finger on the inside of the head joint. So I don't want you to put it all the way in. We don't want to seal it off, but we want to change the pitch just a little bit without covering. So let's see what we get first. Try and mess around with that. Make some sounds with me. Ready? Would you like to try to play a song? See if you can do this. Try that. See if you can get some of those different songs or sounds and maybe you can play a different song with only the head joint. Great job. This is the first step to playing your instrument. If you struggled, hang in there. I promise it will get better with time.